all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to another special episode of black desert so today we're going to talk about our crystals again so this is a version 2 update i know i've made some in the past but after we got a chance to play around with the new crystals and everything i thought i'd make an update and just show you guys what i'm using and maybe you guys can get an idea for what you do whether you're a life skiller pve or pvp or i just want to give you some more end game end game crystals that uh you can check out so anyway from last time you can check out the other video there is some stuff that changed but i ultimately reorganized a lot of stuff so you guys can uh check it out so as we see at the top we have pve pvx uh what that means is like pvx is in let's say you're grinding in your spot right and then people ask you do it for spot or something it's something that i would use to just mostly defend my spot or just like if you duel something you don't have to swap out your crystals and everything so that's what i kind of have and then bosses for the boss blitz um full xp life skills don't worry i didn't forget about you life skillers with the whole crystal update it's really good but it's not as much to talk about in there compared to other ones and then these are pvp so let's start off with the pve one because i assume that's what most people do and uh so yeah we swapped everything around a little bit keep in mind i would say about 99 percent of the crystals are done and i think it's worth talking about so first of all for pve the only thing that i would change later is the expensive tier crystal and where it is is under the combined one and basically this gear tier that's what i would replace for full pve because it gives five percent or 10% drop rate, and then the red one gets 5%. So when you get it, you can upgrade it to it. But getting it right now is the hardest part. And uh, I actually have two of these and two minis, so I just need one more, and then I can get the big one. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so here's the thing. I am at the point where I could use a li little bit more attack speed. That's why I have the Aluka's crystals in here. But for the most part, I think this is good for me. Extra AP against monsters and then humans. It's like, it's more for the attack and cast speed than anything, but it's still nice to have. And then we have the new four ultimate Macalods, which are basically the blue crystals that we had before, but the ultimate version that came with the Land of the Morning Light. And I think that's overall very nice to have. It's just more damage overall straight up. And then with the two new crystals, we have the Crystal of Brutal Decimation. These are kind of difficult to get right now. I got lucky with one of them on from the node, and then it gave me the crystal, and I just made it myself. And then the other one, I just kind of got lucky. I paid like 570 mil for it. But um, budget options for this would be the Dark Red Crystal, the Valor, I believe. That one is it's still kind of expensive, but it's not like 600 mil expensive. And then... We have the power crystal, and realistically, if you wanted to go to the infinity crystal, let me just show you real quick. Okay, so this is what I would use if I was on a budget. So you could use the dark red fang crystal valor, or you could use the ancient magic crystal of the flame power, which is 5 AP, uh, just if you're trying to min max a little bit extra. It might be nice to have, but overall, that's what I have. This one is definitely a replaceable one. And you can also get budget options for that one. And we have two corrupts, just more damage. PvE, Rebellious are very expensive crystals. So basically, if you get clapped and die and lose a crystal, just pray it's not the most expensive one and then you're good. Uh, so that's the PvE full damage one. Next we have PvX, which is grinding, but a little bit safer. As in, like, you have more health and then more accuracy and everything, so you can also defend your spot as well. So, basically, most of these are the same. The difference is we have the special attack evasion, which is more, like, of a PvP thing, along with accuracy crystals as well. So, when you're grinding by yourself, and, like, let's say you're doing the Marnie Realm, just use the PvE setup. But if you have to, like, PvP or something, this is what I would use as well. And uh, once again, would change the red crystal for the yellow one when I get it. 
and that's about it so there's just more accuracy in here and then a little bit more survivability in terms of hp and uh special attack evasion and that's it so this one is for bosses and it may look the same as the pve one but this is more for the boss splits and basically what's different is we have two crystal of mysterious darkness and this is more for back attack damage and this also adds up for more back attack damage as well um i do think this is very situational to the point where if you were to use these i think if you were to have corrupted magic crystals these are also good as well it's just you take a little bit more damage if you get hit but if you could do a lot of back attacks and i think it ultimately is nicer to have so yeah this is the difference i think this is the budget version which i don't think they're bad at all you should still use them but this is the more like back attack stack and more percentages and everything so that's about it um i really do think these macalods are really good and back in the day we all thought the hooms were the best in slot and they still are the two different things or two different purposes but i've never really used macalods back when they came out just because it wasn't like i felt like there were just better options but now that we have the ultimate one i think it's fine and then now that we have back attack damage this is basically a little bit better because there are no downsides to the setup um so yeah that's about it what we changed these are very like kind of difficult these are the two sets that are new that are hard to get so if you don't have these that's fine just use the corrupt ones realistically it's the same except you just get all damage reduction minus two on it but in this one you don't these are expensive it's more for the end game same with decimation crystals you just get more back attack damage but that's about it i think this is very situational and it works for me exp crystals remember all those crystals you got from seasons and it's just adding up all the combat xp whether you're doing anything and that's what we have on here and then eventually these 10 percent crystals should get replaced with the 20 percent and then that's all we have it's a lot it's good big effect right nice so this one is a little bit easier to talk about, but at the same time, it's harder to get the crystals. So with the two new crystals, the Vital Crystal and the Life Crystal, uh, the one good thing is they don't belong to any crystal group, as you can see in the tooltip, and there's no limit to how many you can get. So there's no right or wrong answer of what you do. If you pick the life skill you enjoy doing, just get all of them in there. <laughs> but one thing I would recommend keeping is the extra energy so if you are a gatherer then um the extra 20 energy is pretty good and here's a little quick tip that i could give to all of you is you know how every character you have can use a different set of presets right so let's say your max energy is at 500 and then all your other characters have 500 if you put the extra 20 energy crystals on all of your other characters that you don't play as much they will go to like 520 so if you're just letting the energy recharge or something as long as your other characters have the preset equipped with the extra energy then their total will be higher as well so quick tip for you just put the preset on all of your characters that you don't play and then it's nice to have uh, but other than that the difference is mastery versus uh xp and just pick the ones you want aside from gathering all the other crystals are pretty hard to get so I assume like if you're watching this in a few months from now, uh, just get the ones you want and then that's about it. So the next three presets we're going to talk about are more for endgame PvP. So this one is specifically for damage. Um, this one is what we have. For, so we have two Vipers, which is extra damage against humans. We have the Red Spirit Crystals, which is more human damage and just more damage. And then the Karmi Crystals, which are attack crystals. I believe there's another one for casters as well, but it's just more extra damage against humans. And then, of course, the accuracy, because accuracy is very important for PvP. And then special attack evasion, always good to have. Alucas for more human damage. So basically, this is stacked up against human damage for PvP. And that's about it. Just more damage, big everything. Just don't get hit. You'll be good. Kill them before they kill you. Easy. 
Now, this is the one that's a little bit more of a work in progress because I just don't have most of them, but this is the concept of it. So eventually, when I get four ultimate hooms, this is what they're going to be replaced by. But other than that, if you don't have it, even if you have one ultimate and then three regulars, the set effects still works. But just know that like they don't stack like um, what I mean by stack is like you can't have four of these and it's not worth having four ultimates and then four regulars i think because this one says ultimate whom crystal group and then this one says regular whom so i don't know if that means something different but either way it's not worth having multiple sets of them um so this one is more the defensive side that means what's different is i use two frozen bitterness crystals which is more dr and evasion which is nice um this is a little bit difficult to get but ultimately at the same time it's not too bad and then ultimately the difference would be here is the purple crystal that we saw before. And you would be able to swap it out once you get it. And this one's going to be this one because it gives a lot of defensive stats. So ultimately, when you get this one, it's the one you should be using because it's a lot of defensive and that's good. So let's see what's next. Um, so for whom's basically the difference is the whom's and the defensives and you're going to have the purple uh crystal at the center of it and then we have a defensive or a resistance crystal this one is changeable if you feel like you need more damage but i mean it's a defensive set so you could just use literally anything else that gives more defensive like a harpia or something or something that just gives more hp if you feel like it but i personally thought that resistances might be a better choice but ultimately it depends on what class you're playing and um yeah it's the difference would be these crystals down here and finally this is your standard this is what most people will probably be using um so we have more of the uh hp and special evasion plus the what is it two crystals of resistance and then a power crystal for it's like a mixed bag of accuracy and a little bit more damage and i use this one i think it's a like overall better one than some other options just for more pvp because it gives a lot of uh, a mix of offensive and a little bit of defense so i think that's an overall good option so this is i think what the standard would be uh some other classes might trade out corrupteds for you know like the back attack crystals depending on what class they play but ultimately I think this is the generic setup that most people will have. Um, some classes probably don't won't use red battlefield resistance crystals. Instead, they'd opt for more uh, like survivability or something. But these are the ones I think are interchangeable. And yeah, that's all in the crystal setup. So if you are new, here's what I would do if you are a PvE -er, and you are new to the game and you don't want to spend billions on crystals. Here's what I would do. If you don't have the billion silver one, that's okay. You could use literally anything else. If you are still new and don't have the decimation crystals, what I'd use is the dark red fang valor or the power crystals. Let me, let me find that real quick. So here's a good option. These are ancient magic crystals of crimson flame power and the thing with this one that a lot of people do is they just stack all of these because it gives five ap but at the same time there's no limit to how many you can use so these are uh, they're pretty cheap more or less and then you could just have as many as you want like to fill in the gaps of all your crystals to the ones you can't get otherwise um you just literally get what you can but I think for the most part, a lot of these are a little mix. Um, if you don't have the ultimates, you can just buy the regular hooms or something. So like uh, the non-ultimate versions, which are 60 mil instead of like 400. So I think that's a budget option that does mostly the same thing. The set effects are the same. Um, I understand not everyone has Garmoth's hearts and everything. So you're probably going to miss like two crystal slots. Um, the difference is you don't really particularly need both sets of Alukas or this thing, the Akrods. So as long as you get the one you're using, so like if you're a pve -er, uh, try to get the purple ones. You don't need the red ones for PvE. Same with PvP. 
Um, or like PVX, you don't need both of them. Just get the one that's uh, higher priority. Um, Rebellious are very expensive. They are best in slot, but you could get the Awakening Spirit Crystals or what is it, the Voltara ones that are also very similar. And they're not 1.3 billion silver each. So I don't think that's an okay trade-off. And if you don't have two gins, that's fine. You could just get like the wand or bond. The dip, you mostly get these crystals for special attack evasion, 10%. And then the difference between the gin, bond, and wand is the amount of HP you get on the side. Uh, gin is obviously best in slot for it. But the difference is like 50 or 25 HP or something like that. So it's a little bit less, but ultimately you get the same priority effect. Um, everything else is probably pretty cheap. If you don't have, or if you can't get the expensive five bill crystal, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, boss one, you could also use Corrupteds as well. And then Dark Red Fang Valors for replacements over here. Um... When I do the boss blitz, I truly do think that HP is a higher priority than a lot of things because your gear itself doesn't really matter for bosses more than HP and survivability, which even then it's a little bit sketch because I've seen people with like 8,000, 9,000 health and they still get like one shot in. So it's more about how well you play your class more than anything, but if you're just trying to get the most damage, obviously there are better options, but I think as a high priority, it would be like survivability and HP that exclusively. Um, yeah, but realistically in terms of all these PVP ones, I think if you are seeing people in RBF, this is the thing that people use more in like small scale one V ones, um, RBF situations. And if you're doing just overall PvP, this is, I think, the general standard of what else. So I think that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed my crystal setup. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I think most of this is pretty much like 99% complete. Uh, the only things I need to finish up are the ultimate hooms, which I need three more of, and then get the big purple five bill uh, crystal that is very difficult to get. So aside from that, these are basic layouts that I use, and hopefully you enjoyed it. So thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you come back, and we'll be back with more videos and cool guides next time. Peace.